Hello, this is Devin with Inner Spark, and today I wanted to talk just briefly, because I could talk for hours on this topic, but just briefly about what flower essences are. And then in a future video, I'll talk about specifically how they can help with various conditions on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels of our being that you already know I love to discuss. And if you haven't seen that series, I highly invite you to go check out that whole being nourishment series to get caught up on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels of our being. So that said, on to flower essences. And I have my friends here with me today to support me, to keep me focused. Um, all right, so flower essences are a form of energetic or vibrational medicine. They are a way of working with plant spirits. And you may have heard the term plant spirit medicine or the divas or plant spirits in general. And so every single plant on planet Earth and perhaps beyond, but I can't speak to those because I haven't been there in this lifetime. So every single plant on planet Earth, the flowers, the grasses, the trees, everything has a specific energetic code or energetic vibration, right? Everything is energy, period. Me, your computer, um, the sound waves coming out of my mouth right now, it's all energy. And all of this energy can evoke a certain effect in our being. So the plants all have their own specific energetic imprint, otherwise known as their medicine. And this medicine, there is literally I joke all the time, there's literally an app for that. There is a plant for everything, for everyone, at any time. A flower essence can't hurt you. Um, if you are not in need of that particular flavor of medicine at that time, you may not feel as big of a shift in your being as something that you are very much in need of at that particular moment. So, flower essences a way of working with plant spirit medicine, a vibrational energetic healing modality. That's all great. So what the hell are they, right? How are they made? How do you take them? They're made from live plants. They can be picked or not picked. It depends on, honestly, the, the maker or the plant's wishes. Um, they're made in a very intuitive and ceremonial process. Um, a communion is made an offering, a gift, a relationship between the maker and the plant to gather their medicine. Permission is granted from the plant. And this imprint gets stored into water. And we know by now that water is very much a carrier of energy, a conductor of energy. So the code gets stored in water and the water gets preserved with apple cider vinegar or traditionally brandy. And they're usually stored in little glass dropper bottles like this. And there's a process of dilution that I won't get into. And basically, and each practitioner is different, I prefer to work with an individual and create a specific custom blend based on what the individual is needing at the time. So that said, there's nothing wrong with um, turning to specific essences for anxiety. Say you have a presentation coming up and you know that that one's good for anxiety and you're going to take that before your presentation. That's wonderful. And, and you may feel a shift. I'm most interested in why are you feeling that anxiety in the first place? Why does that imprint exist in your being? And how can we shift it so that it's just gone, right? We can reprogram, rewire these things. The plants are here to ultimately communicate with us on a soul level. So when you ingest a flower essence, you are being met kind of soul to soul, and they're there to shift out all of the bullshit that life has kind of done to us to make us forget our true goodness, our highest purpose, and realize that we are, we're here for love and not fear. We're here for joy and not anxiety. And so these, these things that happen to us in our lives create imprints in our being that can thwart those efforts and make things infinitely more difficult than they need to be, hence the plant medicines. So a person would take, when I work with them, would take a blend, uh, typically for about a month, that's how long a bottle would last. You take three drops three times a month, 
give it a little shake to activate it, say hello to its energies, invite that healing into your being. And then you would take three drops three times a day and allow the magic to unfold. And so what's physically in this bottle is just water. And I used apple cider vinegar in this. So the beautiful thing about flower essences is there are no contraindications. They're safe. It's not like taking a physical herb where you have to start worrying about particular side effects or um, drug herb interactions and things of that nature. Whereas with flower essences, you don't. Um, what else? Like I said, I could go on and on and on all day long. So in a nutshell, that is how flower essences work and that's how they're made and that's how one would take them. And in the next video, I will talk about how they can specifically help you and, and I'll get a little more woo meets science because that's very much my style and my approach. And I look forward to diving in more deeply. Please check out my blog. I have so many resources there about flower essences and using the endocrine system and the chakras and really listening to the body's messages for clues as to what could be happening behind the scenes to create the physical imbalance that's manifesting for you. Tons of other resources. Innerspark.life, I-N-N-E-R, spark.life. Cyberstalk me, Facebook, Innerspark Life, Instagram, at Innerspark Life, and I will see you on our next video. Thank you.